and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. Just finished the book, All These Worlds, and I got this this book's name, name right. I do, uh, on the second book review, I got the name wrong, but I, I'm not a big fan of the naming scheme. I know why they do it. I know why Dennis E. Taylor does it, but it, it just throws me off. Okay, this is book three, and I think the final book in the Bobbyverse. I do, I don't know, I know he writes more books, but I don't know if they're in this, this universe or whatever. I know they're space, space-based. So, um, they fight the others. They, I think they got rid of the Brazilian Empire at the very beginning. So the Brazilian Empire doesn't end up being a huge threat at all anymore. Even though I thought it was going to be the main bad guy. They do hint at the fact that they haven't completely eradicated him. So he's going to be like a recurring villain for the Bobs in the galaxy. But they're fighting the others. They're trying to find out how to save humanity as they're dying off on the planet even though they've already saved small little groups on several different planets the fact that the only thing that really resonated with me is the fact that at the very end of the book bob admits that he had nothing to do with the war with the others he completely went away from society got himself stuck in a rut with the deltons and remained there for 70 years yeah I don't know why he kept being held with such high regard when Bob was literally first generation and he was the first to abandon uh, humanity, the first to abandon the war effort, the first to abandon everything. And in the books, they kept uh, referencing him as this this ultimate, the, the first Bob. No, no, he was <laughs> useless. <laughs> Absolutely useless. It was like, come on. So at the very end, it's just like, oh, okay, that's, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, the the... Each of the Bobs, the I think it's Howard, ends up getting with the one he cares cares about, which is strange because he's a replicant, ends up creating another replicant. But that's the thing. I did like the concept where everyone was ignoring, uh, you know, being able to live forever. Because that is an interesting thought. They see this entity, Bob, who is created at a darker time in humanity, to save humanity and then all of them become nothing but servants of humanity by choice their own choice because they could up and leave whenever they want but everyone else sees them as nothing but stuck in servitude for the rest of their life so nobody else wanted to become a replicant everyone else just sees it as a negative thing to do so the bobs have to realize that they're the only ones who are going to be out there in the galaxy living for all time until they get one or two more one's found in the last book and then the third one's created here but it is kind of sad when the the bobs ask for people to join and they either say yes and then well their health deteriorates like colonel butterworth or it so it's you kind of can see from their point of view how they have already lived for like a hundred years and everyone they've cared about has been dying and dying and dying that they have started to see themselves as a completely different species than humans, even though they were originally human to begin with. Yeah, I, I, I found the book pretty interesting. It's a good way to end off the series. Still, I have trouble figuring out the time everything's done because it has a different date and everything on each different planet. So I don't know if it jumps around. I probably need to create an entire diagram for everything to go like, oh, okay, this is the order of the book or, oh, it actually is in a linear order. Yeah, but it is kind of, you do, this book was really about the emotional impact of every single Bob realizing their immortality. Because, uh, well, except for the war effort and the few Bobs that die, but they literally see their immortality because if they're not in a war where they get shut off or destroyed, they're gonna live forever. And each one comes this, to this realization little by little by little. It's the, it was the original Bobs that were kind of against belief, feeling like that. The newer Bobs that were created after the fact already understood that. But the older bo older generations finally realized at the very end of the book that yes, we are gonna live forever. We have to, yeah. So I, I, I enjoyed that. It's more of a philosophical discussion on that kind of aspect of living forever and uh, how do you, yeah, I did. Oh well, thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles!